Hello, my name is Rick Malava, and my nickname in the forums is CTB RAM. NLV2011 wants to do a wireframe render of the scene that I have shown here in one of the forum threads. And uh, some time ago, I did a, a short tutorial that demonstrated how to do uh, contour rendering using uh, using Mental Ray. And uh, this is actually one of the shots from that uh, from that tutorial. I've got this Coke bottle. This is the uh, unsmooth version. This is just the uh, uh, preview smooth version I just press the three key and these two models right here uh, I've created a, a special material where I've turned on contour rendering and this one just has a blend material on it and uh, just to review I'll put a link to that tutorial in this thread but just to review in order to do a mental race contour rendering you have to create uh, a material and I'll open that material up here I've called it wireframe on shaded blend and you have to go uh, and make some changes in two places. The first thing you need to do is go to the material that you're going to do the contour rendering with and go to its uh, shader group and then uh, roll down the mental ray uh, uh, twirl bar here, whatever you call it, uh, and then go to contours and you're going to want to enable contour rendering. You're going to want to select a color. Uh, oops. Let me get that back. Uh, go to the shader group. Okay, you're going to want to pick a color. You're going to want to, uh, you can have the, the color transparent. This is going to be uh, with this alpha slider here. I'm going to have it uh, not not transparent at all. Uh, and then you pick a, a width. I usually always pick absolute, and I pick a width like 0.5 or less, something like that, to get nice thin lines on here. Now, once you've created the shader, and you've gone into its shader group, and you've turned on uh, contour rendering, and you've made these settings, you're going to want to, of course, uh, apply that material to, to the bottles. Uh, and in, in that case, I've got this bottle, and this bottle already has that shader applied to it. Uh, and then the next thing you're going to want to do to make this work is you're going to want to go to the uh, to the render settings, and uh, in the render settings you're going to want to go to the features tab, and these are going to be uh, uh, yeah that's going to be scroll or that's going to be not scroll down and this as well. So what you're going to want to do is go down to contours uh, in the uh, render globals tab and you're going to want to enable contour rendering and uh, uh, and that's right now I'm going to demonstrate how to just get the contour renders onto the on top of the blend material and then I'll show you how to just uh, just render out the wireframe itself so that you can use the wireframe and uh, uh, composite it as uh, NOV uh, 2011 wants to do. So right now all I did was I came in here and this will be normally off. You'll turn on enable contour render and then very importantly you have to roll down this next tab uh, that says draw by property difference and you want to make sure you click uh, one of these tabs here. I always are uh, check boxes and I always pick around all poly faces. And so once you've created the material you've adjusted the uh, shader group to turn on contour rendering and then you've gone into the global render tab and you've turned on uh, contour rendering there. Of course you have to make sure you have the mental ray plugin uh, turned on and uh, to get to that you go to uh, uh, Windows Settings and Preferences Plugin Manager and you just want to make sure that you have uh, uh, searching for it right here mental uh, Maya 2 MR you want to make sure that that's turned on that's the mental ray plugin for Maya so with that turned on you'll get uh, Mental Ray is one of your sh uh, render engines, and then uh, once that's done, uh, just very quickly, I'll render this scene out so you see what it looks like. I took away the uh, the little stage, uh, and I set the background by going to uh, the camera options and going down to environment, and I set my background to just white for this for this render. Uh, and so now, if I render it. And I'll pause here. Okay, so I'm back now, and you can see that uh, this is rendered out, and you see we have the uh, uh, unsmoothed, the preview render smoothed, and uh, the bottle itself with just the blend material on it. And these two bottles have the blend material where I've turned on contour rendering. And uh, uh, one of the things you notice here is when I smooth the model, uh, it's showing. Uh, uh, each of the polygons as they've been subdivided. So uh, you get the smooth model, but you also get a much denser wireframe uh, when you 
uh, turn on preview smoothing. If you want to see just the base polygons in the unsmoothed model, you have to, you can't smooth the model. In other words, I can't get this wireframe onto this model, which if you go into your actual uh, window here, you see that the wireframe I'm getting on this uh, bottle right now is actually closer to the wireframe that you see here. But there's no way to uh, have the smooth model and do a wireframe that has this wireframe on it. It's going to show me the wireframe with the render tessellation. Uh, just, just wanted to uh, point that out. Now, if I want to do right now, what you can see is underneath all of these wireframes is the actual blend material. If I just wanted to render out the wireframe itself on a white background, uh, the way you can do that is also built into uh, the contour renderer. So if I open up the uh, uh, the render global render settings again and I go to this contour tab, you see you have an option here to hide the source image. So if I hide the source, and then I can pick what I want the flood color to be. So this is the color that's going to appear underneath the wireframe, which is going to be rendered in, if you remember, we go to the, uh, we go to the shader groups, uh, or the, uh, the material shader group, and you see this is where you set your color, and I can put it to anything. I'll make it black. Um, so now what I'll get is a black wireframe on a, on a white background, and you won't see any material on the bottle. In other words, you'll just see the wireframe, and since I set the background color to white, it'll just be the wireframe itself uh, floating in the scene. So once again, I'll bring, with those settings made, I'll come back and I'll put this back on, and I'll do another render. And then I'll pause while this is rendering out. It's not done rendering yet, but I also wanted to point out that the wireframe is done and it's the very last step. So you see it's actually rendering out the bottles with the blend on them, but in the vinyl step, all you'll see is the wireframes. Okay, it's done now, and now you see the wireframe color is in black. And once again, we can see the wireframe uh, with, a, uh, with white as a flood fill, and since I have a white background, it just looks like the wireframe uh, only rendered, and you see you have you got back face culling, so you're only seeing the faces that are closest to you, and this is the uh, unsmooth bottle, and this is the, the preview smooth bottle, which has the wireframe showing the actual final render tessellation. And you notice the third bottle is completely gone here because I said uh, I picked this hide source image, and so it basically hides all of the uh, all of the sources, even the uh, even the ones that don't have the contour on them are, are hidden uh, in the end. And, uh, and so you don't see this bottle because there's no, uh, I didn't adjust its shader group to turn on contour rendering. So, so this space is blank. Oh, I'm sitting here pointing over, I'm on a different screen and I'm pointing to right here, but what I meant is this area right here where that third bottle was that doesn't have the wireframe or the material with its uh, shader group set to do contour rendering. Uh, it's hidden. Uh, in the end because of this hide source checkbox that I've done here. And so now all you get is the is the wireframe itself with whatever flood background color you want, which I set here to white, uh, to match the background color of the camera, which I set here also to white. So uh, there you go. That's how you can do a contour render and just show the wireframe itself with uh, backface calling and not show any material where the bottle is or the object itself is at. I hope this helps you out, NOV uh, 2011. Good luck with your modeling. This has been uh, CTB Ram with SimplyMaya.com.